So Taylor Nicole Dean is fresh out of rehab and it looks like she's already found a brand new boo after breaking up with Johnny Craig. And this is very concerning and I'm worried about her recovery and that's exactly what we're gonna talk about in this video. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics from the YouTube community and see what lessons we can pull from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. And something I'm very passionate about is mental health as well as addiction recovery. So if you're into any of that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And yeah, before I get started, real quick, if you're following me on social media, you probably already got the memo. Well, Instagram's actually been pretty wonky today, acting kind of ratchet, so you might not have seen it. But anyways, my brand new book, Rewire Your Anxiety, is out now. And since it is the launch week, I'm running a sale on it. So if you get Rewire Your Anxiety, the ebook or the audio book, you get another copy of any of my other books for free. One of my books is about my recovery from addiction, anxiety, and depression. The other one is how to help a loved one who struggles with addiction. And then I also have Rewire Your Anger. So you get to get one of those for free. Pretty sweet deal. And the book, uh, the ebook's only five bucks and the audiobook's only seven bucks. So buy one, get one free. All right, that'll all be down in the description below. Okay, but anyways, yeah, let's talk about Taylor Nicole Dean. So before I get started with that, let me just say for anybody who's new here, what my qualifications are. So hi, my name's Chris. I'm a recovering drug addict and alcoholic. I just celebrated seven years clean and sober. In my recovery, I worked at an addiction treatment center for a little over three years and I am also a certified sober coach, all right? So when I'm looking at this situation and talking about it, that's where I'm coming from. And I hope anybody watching this can learn some valuable lessons or it'll help you help somebody else you know who might be in early recovery. So those of you who don't know about Taylor Nicole Dean, she recently just came back from rehab. So months ago, I think it was back in April, she was dating Johnny Craig and he got her into heroin. She ended up going to treatment and she came back and she made a video, but then she disappeared again. So she went back to rehab and I made a video just the other day, I'll link it up in the info card, where she finally called it quicks with Johnny Craig. And I was like, oh, oh, thank God. Because I was like, okay, cool. Somebody, maybe a therapist or somebody in her rehab got through to her and was like, listen, this is a bad relationship. This will lead to relapse. You need to get out of it. I was so proud of her. But after I made that video, I got some DMs and people were sharing this picture with me saying it looked like Taylor Nicole Dean had some hickeys. I'm like, no, 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 no. If her therapist just, got her out of a relationship, there's no way she would think it would be a good idea to, to start her hooking up with somebody. And don't worry, I'm gonna get into the whole idea of why people in early recovery should not be doing this, all right? But I was like, no, 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 because I'm a little bit of an optimist, but then I saw this picture, right, where she shows this guy who she went to rehab with and talks about how she's crushing on him hard, and I'm like, oh no, please don't tell me this is a rehab relationship. Please, sweet baby Jesus, don't tell me this is a rehab relationship, all right? And then she just posted this picture today. It says, yo, we are cool bro friends. His name is Jake, for those of you wanting to know. Not gonna spill my whole life story on this, but I know a good thing when I see one now, and we have what we have is really cool and genuinely helpful with my recovery and not full of codependent BS. If you don't know what happened and why, I went away for 30 days. I don't want to keep explaining it. I'll do a video when I'm ready. So clearly I'm not the only one who sees this being an issue and potentially something that can mess with her recovery because then she posted this where she says, y'all gotta realize I didn't swap my drug addiction with a new guy. I was mentally single for over a year now and didn't have any romantic interaction for 12 plus months with my ex. I just am moving on. I just am allowing myself to have fun after feeling stuck for so long, not getting dependent on another person. And it's like, oh, my God. All right, so here's the thing. Like I said, I have, I've been in this game for seven years now. I have literally worked with thousands of recovering drug addicts and alcoholics. And I'm sitting here and I'm like, Taylor Nicole Dean, like, who do you think you're fooling, right? Like something my dad would say is, I was born at night but it wasn't last night, all right? Like for anybody to look at this and to actually buy in that she's not catching some feelings, like let's 
let's look at this, right? She talks about how she's crushing on this guy and then she's posting pictures with him and she has over a million subscribers on YouTube, hundreds of thousands on Instagram and acting like this isn't a big deal. Like, okay. This is something like, even if you're not an addict or an alcoholic, like this is something that so many people do where it's like, I don't really want a relationship. I'm not looking for anything serious. But imagine saying that and then bringing your hookup to come meet your family, all right? Those actions are not aligning with words, okay? But just to put it in perspective for you real quick, okay? Like I just want you to imagine Taylor Nicole Dean going to rehab, okay? Working with counselors, therapists, uh, social workers, right? Maybe even a psychologist. Can you imagine any of them telling Taylor Nicole Dean that it would be a good idea to start hooking up with a guy that she just met in rehab? Like, I want you to sit and ponder on that for a second. Like, something I just talked about in my Trisha Paytas video is, you can go to rehab as much as you want, you can go to therapy as much as you want, but if you're not doing what they suggest to you, then it doesn't matter. You are wasting your time. And I hope the best for Taylor Nicole Dean. I hope this doesn't lead to, uh, lead to a relapse, but it's something that I've seen play out in a bad way so, so many times. Because here's the thing, in early recovery, we are in such a fragile, vulnerable state, right? And we can get hurt really easily. And that's one of the reasons we need to focus on ourselves and strengthen the foundation of our recovery and not be fooling around with any guys or girls, all right? Like this is the biggest suggestion in early recovery is not to date for the first year. Oftentimes, not even to hook up. Like I saw this play out so many times in my early recovery where my friends would drop off like flies because they started to hook up in early recovery. Either one person would relapse or both people would relapse, okay? And I saw this happen many, many, many more times in the treatment center. So here's the other thing. Especially when you're hooking up with somebody else in early recovery, it is one of the most selfish and self-centered things you could do because they are in a vulnerable state, all right? This isn't you just going out and hooking up with a random dude or random woman off of Tinder. You are hooking up with somebody who came to a mental health treatment center. Okay, like think about that for a second. And the reason I'm so passionate about this is because I have seen so many horror stories that would blow your mind. I do not have the hours in a day to tell you all of them, but I'll tell you one that sticks out in the front of my mind when I see somebody like Taylor Nicole Dean saying, I'm not looking for anything serious. I'm not looking for a relationship, so I'm fine. There was a, a young woman who came through our treatment center and she didn't really care about being in treatment. She was like forced there, like her parents forced her to go. She didn't care, just like kind of slept in groups and everything like that. But anyways, she started hooking up with a bunch of guys in treatment. And by the way, that's against the rules. Don't do that, okay? And she was just like, oh, I'm not looking for a relationship. I'm just having fun and just hooking up with guys, right? Well, she ended up hooking up with a guy who had a lot of psychological issues. Remember, this is a mental health treatment center. And even though she wasn't catching feelings, this dude, caught feelings for her. He fell in love with her, all right? Like remember, the people you meet in rehab, the people you meet in a mental health treatment center, they have emotional issues, right? They struggle with things like depression. They struggle with things like codependency. So it's not all about you. And yeah, that story doesn't end there either. Because this guy caught such strong feelings for her and she said, no, I'm not looking for anything serious, the dude tried to take his own life. Okay, so that again is why I'm so passionate about this subject. So when I see somebody like Taylor Nicole Dean meeting somebody in rehab, meeting somebody who is fighting for their life every single day, it is such a selfish and self-centered move to be like, oh, well, I'm not looking for a relationship. Like, think about this guy's recovery, all right? And here's why this stuff doesn't work out. When people come into treatment, okay, it's not like everything was honky-dory, all right? Taylor Nicole Dean was not living an amazing life on heroin. Things were wrong and she has things that she needs to work through as we all do, right? The other dude who came into rehab, he came in broken as well. Like imagine this for a second. Imagine taking two glasses, breaking them on the ground, scooping them together and being like, okay, look, this can work because that's basically what you're doing when you're taking two newly sober addicts and, and trying to have any kind of semblance 
of a relationship, one of the best things I did for my recovery was the first year, not only did I stay single, but I also stayed celibate. Because I'm the type of person, I used to do this crap that Taylor Nicole Dean did, right? I used to go and be like, oh, I'm not looking for anything serious. This is just for fun. We're just hooking up. But then I'm like taking pictures with them and doing all these other things. Like I was lying to myself. That's why in recovery, they say we have to be honest. We have to be honest, not just with other people, but with ourselves as well. So again, I hope the best for Taylor Nicole Dean and her recovery, but this kind of stuff makes me very worried. And check this out. I've been doing this for a long time now and I hate I hate being right about these things, but there is a reason why those of us with clean time have certain suggestions for those who are new. Like think about it for a second. Like I used to tell this to my clients all the time in rehab. Like, do you think I get a bonus if you don't get in a relationship? Like, do you think, like, why do you think I'm telling you this, right? Like, why do you think it's recommended? It's because we've seen this play out way too many times. Like, I've seen thousands of people try, and I've seen probably less than four actually work out, all right? So think about that for a second. And maybe, maybe some of you in recovery can help me out. In the comments below, let me know. Let me know your experience. Did you try a little rehab relationship or a little, like, 12-step meeting relationship? Let me know how that worked out, all right? Down in the comments below. But anyways, don't forget, Rewire Your Anxiety is out now and it's on sale. Get a copy of Rewire Your Anxiety, get another copy of any of my books for free. Pretty sweet deal. Link down in the description and down in the pinned comment below. All right, but that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody out there supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, support what I'm doing here, get access to some other perks and benefits like all my books for free, you can click or tap right there. All right, thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.